My father one day told me when I was very young that the only thing that no one can take away from you was your education, your knowledge. I've always liked going to school, but as I started getting older, I wasn't clear as to what I needed to do to go to college or if even college was a possibility for me. Since I was a little girl, I wanted to work in television, and today I am working in a local TV station, and I'm fulfilling my dreams. There are endless amounts of opportunities with a higher education. You can change the world. You can reach your highest, highest potential. You can inspire other people to continue their education. Going to college wasn't always easy. I faced a lot of financial obstacles. I was a dreamer. I was an AB 540 student, which meant that I couldn't get financial aid. Some of the challenges for Latino students when pursuing higher um, education, I think, are access to resources. Sometimes first-generation students don't have the resources in order to succeed. Solamente algunos Latinos llegan al colegio por falta de información de los padres sobre cómo ayudar a los hijos a llegar al, al colegio y la importancia que tiene el colegio en la vida de los estudiantes. It's not that Latino parents don't want us to go to college, it's that they may not know how to navigate through the resources in order to get into higher education. Latino students that are less familiar with higher education definitely need all the support that they can get to help their parents understand why higher education is so important. It helps the students achieve their long-term goals that can later in the future help the family in providing for them and having a better future for everyone. I am the first one in my family to graduate from high school, to go to college and to get my bachelor's, and I'm also the first one to get my master's. I think it makes my parents feel very proud. The Norman Latino community is usually for students right after high school to go and work and provide for the family. The Puente program definitely showed me that the most important thing is to get a higher education, to go to college, to experience that. I joined the Puente program my freshman year. It impacted me extremely, made me believe in myself and my potential um, as a student. As I got into college, I didn't know what I wanted to study. Thanks to my Puente counselor and my Puente teachers, I knew exactly the classes that I needed to take to transfer and to go to a four-year university. There are so many ways that the Puente program could help you out as a student. They could give you a mentor, they take you on field trips, they help you out fill out financial aid, and you get your personal English professor. Desde que estuvo Karen en Puente, ha crecido bastante, es una muchacha más madura, le ha servido como, como inspiración para los, los demás miembros de la familia que vienen atrás. Where I'm from, yeah, there's a lot of struggles, especially with gangs and uh, poverty. Your community has a big influence on you. If you don't have a good role model, you're not going to learn anything good, you know. Fortunately, when the program was there, and they gave me the, the right start. My main objective is to get my degree, come back to this program, and be a mentor for those who have not yet received a degree. I want to be that role model. Padres e hijos tienen que tener este entendimiento que saliendo de la secundaria, el colegio es primero. El trabajo se puede esperar, o el colegio abre más puertas y escoges tú el trabajo que tú quieres. When more Latino students have the support that they need, it will help them reach their goals and to inspire other students to realize that no matter what, si se puede.